Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we've got something very special. But before we get into that, got some big, big news for you guys. So you guys might know, you may or may not know, Ducks Waterfowl did a huge Black Friday sale, and we're continuing it into Monday. We're doing a Cyber Monday sale where it's going to be 20% off absolutely everything on the store. If you're watching it the day that I upload on Sunday, all lanyards are 25% off. So if you're wanting a lanyard for duck hunting, today is that day. It's for whatever's left in stock. There's a bunch of items that are still out of stock. So if you're really, really wanting something, I would suggest buying it today because it'll still be discounted. If you've been waiting, you've been wanting any ducks gear, now is the time. I'm telling you, now is the time. Do not wait because after this, the odds of you getting what you want are not very good because everything's probably going to be out of stock. Anyways, let's get on with today's video. Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. You hear it? It's glorious. It's freaking wind. It is so windy out here and it's cold. You breaking stuff, Bonzo? Anyways, hey, how's it going? Welcome back. We are at the farm today. We're starting the video off at the farm. One, we got a, oh, we got a few things to do. One, we got to go scout for some ducks. We had some snow hit last night and uh, a little bit, okay, I'm sure this wind's just great. Let me get behind here. Like I said, we had some snow hit last night and uh, we have to go see if, did the birds move down? That's the question. Did the birds move down? and uh, do a little bit of scouting, maybe a little squirrel hunting. We need to go check the traps. We haven't checked the traps yet today, so we gotta go check those. We set some beaver traps out. You guys know the beaver dam is freaking war out here, so we gotta go check those, make sure nothing got in them. And uh, a few other things. It's just gonna be one of those days where we just give it a dangle doing doing various farm activities, and maybe something cool happen. You guys stay tuned. <laughs> Look at all the goods. We talked to Trap Lord Jake, and he's like, hey, I got hell traps. If you guys wanna go trapping, I got a bunch. Look at all this. Raccoon traps, beaver traps, muskrat traps. That's the other thing we're thinking about dabbling with today. Set muskrat traps. Now I know nothing about it. I didn't know nothing about muskrat trapping, but one thing I know is when we went duck hunting last time, there was like a trillion muskrat huts at the farm. So we're thinking with all these muskrat traps, why don't we go try to trap some muskrats? They actually do do damage. Just like beavers, they're just miniature beavers, but they tear things up, they chop stuff down, it's just not a good deal. So, we've got all the goods right here though. So, how do you work that thing, mister? You ever use one of these things? Are you a beefcake? Not really. Bro, I didn't see any of that metal bend when you just squeeze. You squeeze it, look, see? And then you prop it open and- Can you do it by yourself? No. It's a two-man deal? Yeah, it's a two-man deal. Really? Hey, oh, oh. Trying to get centered. Yeah, I know. There, uh, is that good enough? Uh, yeah. There we go. I'm trying to press down. Alright. All right. Just hold it flat. Yep. Flip that thing up and do the other thing and stick it right inside. Perfect. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. A little scrat hut. They touch the little circle thing and they get trapped. I feel like it couldn't hurt that bad with gloves, especially. Go for it. I'll hold the I'll camera. I'll try it. Oh my god. Bro, it can't be that bad. Do you think it'll be that bad? I think it'll hurt. Even with gloves? Yeah. Like you're telling me if I just stick my fist in there. Oh, maybe not fist. I'm thinking finger. Flat. Oh, bro, you gotta, no! You gotta do it like that. Like this? Yep. I'm kinda scared, dude. Good. It can't be that bad. You got this. You think it'll be bad? Can I punch it? No, I mean, that's not gonna hurt. I mean, it might I'll get it. I'll get an idea. Okay, punch it first. I feel like it can't be that bad, but it could be. You know what I mean? Do it. I can't. Do it. I can't. I can't. What about my arm? Like this? Might as well just put your leg in there. Dude, I don't know, I don't. The thing is once I do it once, I'm like, oh, it ain't that bad. It's like touching the electric fence, bro. It's like you're so scared. And then half, you're like, oh, that's not bad. Or, you know, just call me nubs and I just won't have a whole finger. So, could go one of two ways. Oh, that's not bad. Really? No. I mean, it doesn't tickle. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't want to get your finger pinched in it, but it wasn't that bad. Oh God, how do people do this, bro? I swear, you farm kids are just straight units. I feel like this isn't okay. Why don't I just be smart? Shoo! That was intense, boys. You guys are thinking, where do I go for food? Weenie Hut Juniors? Is that a food place? What was Weenie Hut Juniors? I've never heard of that. What do you? You've never heard of what? How have you never heard of Weenie Hut? Just, you know, I watched SpongeBob. Did you not have a childhood? We, it was okay. There was a Krusty Krab, and then there was the Chum Bucket, but then it was something else, and then it was Weenie Hut Juniors. I don't remember that. Oh, Bonzo, you didn't have a childhood. I just can't remember. Was Weenie Hut Juniors like a restaurant or a bar? I think it was. 
It definitely was. Yeah, because there was like a one place where you went and you had to like have muscles and stuff. Oh, I remember that place. Remember that? Yeah, That's what yeah. I'm saying. And the other one was Winnie Hut Juniors. Oh, okay. If, if you, you were, get in if you couldn't get in. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was like a line and everybody was just like jacked. And like spun, okay, you guys, anyways. We got a bunch of traps here. We got, I mean, dude, these are King Daddy. These are, these are coyote traps, bro. Oh, sheesh, those look like official, man. Yeah. Jake, Jake went off. Yeah. Trap Lord Jake went off. So anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna steal a couple of these, uh, little muskrat trapping things and dog proofs and uh, try to go cr trap some raccoons and some muskrats. We have not tried to trap raccoons on the farm yet this year, just been done it in the backyard. So we're gonna grab some traps, get them, get them kind of situated and start looking for some ducks and setting muskrat traps out, I guess is what we're doing on the farm. You guys stay tuned. Well, we made it. This is my house. If you guys are new to the channel, this is the first farm that I bought before the house that I live in now and all that farm. This was a piece of 20 acres that was corn is now a lake that has no fish in it. Um, but it is getting actually more dry. I'm actually gonna go drive over there real quick. There's a shop, it's like a, no, I don't know, it's a decent sized machine shed. Um, I was planning on turning it into a cool workshop, but it flooded. And uh, what we're thinking is a good shelter like that, good wind break, some raccoons might go hanging out in it. And uh, so we might go set, we got five dog proofs that we brought and then five muskrat traps. So we're gonna set the dog proofs. I would put all the dog proofs here. This looks like a great spot. We got water, corns. Yeah, corn's not very close, it's been flooded. I've read a lot about raccoons. They, uh, they'll they go in like an abandoned houses and stuff like that. And a shelter is a shelter, man. So I think we're gonna, I'm gonna drive over here and see what this looks like. Cheese and Just rice, look. Jimmy. Just look at that. Look at this. Look at, look at a billion of them. Oh dude, we're about to go off. We're about to kill them all. But yeah, this is the this is my shop. I really hope that uh, it dries up, but I've got a very strong, very strong feeling. We're gonna have another catastrophic flood in the spring because the water's still so high and we're going into winter, meaning water ain't gonna drain anymore, uh, you know, not a significant amount. And then you're gonna have snow, and then you're gonna have snow melt, and then you're gonna have spring rains. And if you guys have been subscribed for a long time, you saw what happened. Basically this whole farm that I bought and that I hunt and everything else got destroyed got flooded tons of people lost their homes it's gonna happen again this spring unfortunately i'm not really looking forward to it but we'll be a little bit more prepared this year um that's why i don't want to put anything in here because honestly this would be like a really dope workshop i mean i could come in here throw gravel down patch up this door here throw some lights in here electricity is not too far away it's on that pole over there I mean, this would be a cool workshop could have been building building things this winter and storing boats in here i had big plans and i was resorted to trapping raccoons so with that being said let's set some traps We got her done, boys. Brought to you by Quack Snacks. Not actually. We stole Riggs' dog food. So shout out to Riggs for uh, hooking us up with the dog food. It, it does have some Quack Snacks in it, but mainly Riggs' is dog food. Big ol' pupper food. <laughs> I mean, if I was a raccoon, I'd eat it. We got all five. We're, I'd say we just line it up, put one in each corner and then one dead center. And then just take some dog food and just give it a dangle over each one. And I think it'll work. I guarantee you they come in here. And they say, well, I can tell you they come in here say. because it looks like uh, there's been about a trillion. I, I would say definitely put one here because there's like a trillion tracks here. I bet we're going to, I bet we're going to harvest out here, boys. But anyways, we put these things in the ground and then we're getting over to checking, well, checking for ducks. We haven't seen ducks yet, but we haven't really checked all the good spots. And then hopefully setting up some muskrat traps, which I know nothing about. So if I'm doing anything wrong, you guys let me know. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four, five. We got five out here in the barn shed house thingy i got these or they get raccoons fired up we got them all set out i'm feeling pretty good about it hopefully we hopefully clap some cheeks but now we're off to a new adventure muskrat trapping knock knock rick daddy's here we haven't seen a duck not a duck in the sky how do you go from killing birds every day for like a week to just see an absolutely nothing. You know, I don't know. But you know what you do when you can't kill ducks? You attempt to trap muskrats. Now you might be wondering, well, how do you do that? I can't tell you, because I don't know. You would think somebody like me, as intelligent as this person is right here, would just YouTube it. Hey, how do you trap muskrats on a muskrat hunt? But that's just too easy. You know me, I like doing things the hard way or the flare way, as I like to say, which is usually the incorrect way, but hey, we're doing it anyway. So, you know, there's ways you can do some different kinds of trapping. You gotta find the hole 
and if it's frozen, you see the air bubbles, I'm just gonna plop these suckers on top of it and hope that they scurry over the top. That's the plan right now. We got four of them. I thought I said five, but we only got four. So we're gonna pick four of the closest huts and just plop them on up top. Right now, just, just taking a gander right now, I can count about nine. And I know there's probably another dozen over there, so we gotta get some more traps. Honestly, we need Trap Lord Jake out here is what we need. But anyways, I'm gonna hop out and see what we can get done here. I already put my hand in here once, and I can do that twice. But we've got these little sticks that we're gonna use to stake. I say we just set it right down here. You see this little depression? I would assume those little suckers are scurrying around. You think that'll actually work? Stake it down. Yeah, I don't know if that'll work, but uh, on to the next. There's kind of a there's kind of a ramp on this side. I like that one. That one's pretty neat. Take one of these suckers. There we go. Two down. They're not even gonna know what hit them, boys. Three down. I'm actually curious what you guys think. Why is there so many? Like, does each is there only one muskrat per house? Does a muskrat does one muskrat have multiple houses? He just a boss like that. I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Here we go, last one. Again, not sure if that'll work or not, but we'll leave it. We'll come back tomorrow. But uh, we gotta go check on them beavers, man. We haven't seen them beaver traps for a while, so we gotta go check on them. Maybe we'll scout for ducks a little bit more too. But I ain't seen any. I almost forgot. All you guys have been commenting. Well, what about the bees? Where are the bees at? Are the bees dead? You got honey yet? Flair, where are the freaking bees? I haven't shown them for a while because they're not doing nothing. Look at them. Oh, they're out. They're out basking in the sun now. Look at them. They might be kind of angry. I brought the camera. I haven't brought the camera in a while. But what we did is we, there's like a bottom section that has like the opening and we flipped it to the small side like a month ago keeps the heat in um but they're still good i mean the bees are doing bee things but they've all moved down to the base where they stored all the honey so if you guys are new to the channel i got bees what they do is you fill up one box filled with honey you add a box they fill it up with honey you add another box fill up with honey and you take the third one the top one and those bottom two is food they eat honey for food and it's for their winter so right now they're they are in the bottom two boxes eating they're honey, they're not producing any honey, there's no pollen for them to go get. Uh, but they're still alive, both of them are doing good. That one's, the one with all the bees out, that one's doing better than that one, but they're all doing just fine. So there's your bee update for you guys. Hopefully, uh, we'll have some honey this spring, maybe. Probably like June or July, or probably not. But I actually am planning on moving these things to my house, because I'm just there more often. Um, but I'm waiting for it to get even colder, because you can see they're still kind of out and about a little bit. Um, we're waiting for it to get colder, so that way they're on there, you tape it up, and then we transport them. That'll be interesting. Transporting like 50,000 bees in the back of a truck with Bonzo in the back, and that way if they get loose, uh, that'll be a good entertaining vlog for you guys. But there's your bee update, and uh, a duck update for you guys, nada. Phew, and we made it. Folks, gotta go check on them beaver traps. We haven't caught one yet this year, so. Hoping we got one. We broke the dam a little bit. If you guys are wondering, we do trap like off camera. Like I try to film what I can, but I'm not filming absolutely every single day. So it's like, you gotta, if you set a trap, you gotta go check it the next day. And if I don't get anything, I usually don't take the camera with me. We're gonna see. We've we've had these traps pretty much in that same spot for, I think it's our fourth day with nothing. To me, the, the creek right here is looking pretty high. So it looks like, well one, we either trap something or two, they fix the they fix the dam, which could definitely be a possibility. So we're gonna go check it out, see how bad we got destroyed, or maybe we got luck and got one. You guys stay tuned. Oh yeah, look at this. This is all filled back up, Bonzo. How's that make you feel? Wow. Remember when this was dry? Yeah. After we blew up the dam? She's back and better than ever, folks. These beavers destroyed us. I mean, it is. this is just as bad as it was before we even blew up the dam. Me spending $400 on uh, Boom Boom and blowing it up, <laughs> it did no good. Just. The only good it did was give you guys a little bit of entertainment, which is the most important thing, but you know, I thought it might slow the beavers down, but it didn't. They cut down trees. They filled it with trees. Look at this, this is new. That wasn't there, so that must have been a weak spot. Did they try to pack it in? Then, I can't tell. If that was them or just nature. But I'm gonna go ahead and just give it one of these. It's the old, it's the 
that's the equivalent to the old middle finger in beaver language. This is what we've got. This was, remember the big hole? Oh my god. It's not a hole. Dude, I told you. They oh went full god. Paul Bunyan on us, buddy. Look at those. That is not necessary. No, I know. It's overkill. I'm over here like, take that, beavers. Blow up the dam. You know what the beaver says? Hold my beer. That's what he says. And look what he did. Brought a freaking tree. Why did you have to cut down the tree? We got Mr. Beast out here planting 20 million trees. And uh, this is why. Because uh, these beavers enjoy cutting down trees for literally no... Like, that did not bring any structural support no. to this. They just did it because they can and they like to flex. I mean, look all these, all these trees. Oh, these are all new. Yeah. No, it was all of mud. And they just added trees. They're just like, you know what? We're hungry. Let's cut down a freaking tree. I don't even know where our traps are. They're gonzo bonzo. I don't even know where our trap went. It's MIA. Well, we do have a trap down there. Let's go check that one. And then we got we got one other one to trap. But why do you need to bring a seven foot tree? <laughs> Give me one good reason, Beaver. One. What's it looking like, Bonzo? Yeah. Tell me. Give me some good news, Bonzo. Nope. Really? Nope. Did they block? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's out of the water, eh? Well, they didn't. I don't even know if they blocked it. They just don't care about it. I guess we'll leave it here just in case one decides to meander over here. But yeah, this ain't really doing much for us now, is it? We're losing. We're losing the war. Someone send help. Yep, take that, beavers. Well, I couldn't find the trap, so decided to ruin the beaver's evening. Now they're gonna have to come fix this. It's gone. Buried it, fell off, went down the river, I don't know. But uh, they're gonna have a hell of a time trying to fix this. Your boy is tired. Kinda destroyed some beaver dams just a little bit. At least attempted to, it doesn't really matter. Oh, there's deer tracks. Right. Oh, that was awkwardly close. <laughs> People definitely thought we were doing something we weren't. There are some deer tracks right there. But we do have one more trap to check right over there. It's a slip and slide trap. I think we're losing the battle, the beaver dam traps. Yeah, I mean, every day we lose. Maybe the slip and slide trap's the deal, but we got one more trap to check. And then I don't know what to do. I need to call Trap Lord Jake and have him come help us because we suck. <laughs> Boys, what was I just saying? We suck. We don't suck entirely. We got the first beaver of the year, baby. Oh, snap. What up, Junior? Oh, my God. Did you expect that to be knee deep? No. Why is that so deep? We got one. <laughs> we got one. Dude. The slip and slide, baby. That's all it was. The old slip and slide. This is what I call slip and slide is this thing. It's where they go out to get corn and stuff, and then they come back. We can't win the beaver dam battle. Like, I think they know our traps. This one was something different. Ripped to Buddy. Oh, look at the chomps on this guy. Look at the chomps on Bud. Shoo, dude. My guy. Finally. We got big chomps McGee. I mean, he's probably not the be biggest beaver we've ever trapped, but dude, he's got some. Look at the freaking paddle on this thing. If you guys have no idea how good this feels, it's been months of preparation for this moment. Just want to thank my family. What else do you, what do you like NASCAR drivers think when they win like the cup or something? That's the first beaver we've ever trapped by the head. I mean, on a good note, it was obviously a, a quick kill. I mean, he probably can't breathe with that right there. But uh, yeah, normally you trap them back here. First one of the year, baby. We're not we're not catching cooking this one. We gotta wait for the rest of the boys to be here. You smell that though? Yeah. What do they call that? Caster. You guys ever smell beaver caster? If you've never have, you should do it someday. It's quite pleasant. Boom! There we have it, folks. Got him out of the trap. We're down back at the farm, and I just got the one with Trap Lord Jake. I called him. I was like, "Yo, man, we just got out some raccoon trap, muskrat traps. You know, we caught a beaver." He's like, "Dude, hang on. Don't." Do anything with the beaver. We need the caster. If you guys know what the caster is, it's like their scent, glands, but it's like poop, but it's very, like we were talking about it earlier, it's a very uh, distinct smell. He said you use it for foothold trap. So we're actually gonna not skin this on this video. We're gonna clean it in another video where we go trapping with footholds for beavers, muskrats, everything else. We're planning on doing it tomorrow. He's got work today, he's got tomorrow off. He's like, hang on to the beaver. I'll be down there tomorrow and I'll show you boys how to actually set footholds. So I know today we kind of goofed around, just threw them up on top. I mean, it might work. I don't know. I don't really know how to do it. I just assume it's got to be a little bit more difficult than that. Uh, but Jake, Trap Lord Jake said he would help us with it. So that's all I know. And uh, well, we're going to catch you guys in another episode. We're going to leave it like so we're going to leave for now and we're not going to do anything with it for today's episode. You have to tune into the next episode. But if you guys enjoyed the trapping episode, basically setting out traps and we might tell me which actually tell me this. Do me a favor. Would you rather see a video where I set traps and then go to the next day and check them 
and that be the video? Or would you rather it just be a continuous series where it's like today we're setting them, the next video we're checking them, and it just kind of like flows? Because honestly, it'd be a lot easier if I could just make the videos where it's like we're doing today, or we set the traps, and then the next video is when we're checking them. Because then I don't have to like film a half a video and then finish it tomorrow and then put it together and then film two halves into one, and there's math involved, and that's just not good for me at all. So, what do you guys think? Are you okay with that? Or would you rather, are you like pretty stuck on, hey, film setting them and then pick up the next day, put it in one video, or are you okay with me setting them out and then the next video and just kind of make it a continuous series? Because we can do that, we're gonna, we're gonna kill the game. We'll go a lot faster and videos will come out even, even faster and more and uh, be more entertaining. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.